Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we'll be solving system of equations by elimination, or more specifically, by combination. Now, before you watch this video, make sure to check out our previous videos on system of equations. They will be linked in the description below, as well as on the top right-hand corner of your screen. So here we are asked to solve the following system of equations by elimination. Now, elimination allows you to add or subtract the equations in a way that will make one variable drop out. And it's easier to use elimination to system of equations where both of the equations are in standard form, like in the ones here. So, if the coefficients of one variable are opposites, here we have negative 3y and 3y, which are opposites, then we can add the two equations to eliminate that variable. And we can add normally just like we do with any number by and combine like terms. So we have 2x and 5x and we can combine them to get 7x. And we have 3, uh, 3 negative 3y plus 3y or 0y so we don't have to write anything. We have negative 10 plus negative 4, or negative 10 minus 4, which is negative 14. Now once we divide both sides by 7, we will be left with x equals negative 14 divided by 7, or negative 2. So that should be the solution for the x value. Now to get the y value, we need to plug the x back into one of the equations here and we can choose which one so let's choose the first equation if we plug the x back in we'll have 2 times negative 2 minus 3y equals negative 10. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 3y is negative 10. We can add 4, both, four to both sides to get negative 3y equals negative 10 plus 4, or negative 6. Once we divide both sides by negative 3, we will be left with y equals 2. So the solution of our system of equations should be negative 2, 2. And to make sure this is the right solution, we can plug in these values for x and y. So into both equations. So we have 2 times negative 2 minus 3 times 2, and that should equal negative 10. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 4 minus 6 is indeed equal to 10. So in the second equation we have 5 times negative 2 plus 3 times 2 equals negative 4. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 3 times 2, or plus 6. 10, negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4. So we know we got the right solution. Now, for this system of equations, the coefficients of one variable are identical. So we can subtract the equations to eliminate that variable, or we can multiply one of the equations by negative 1 and then add. So let's multiply this bottom of equation by negative 1. That leaves us with negative 3x minus 2x equals negative 7. And we can rewrite the first equation up here so that we can add the two equations together. So once we add the two equations together, we have 4x minus 3x, or x, and 2y plus negative 2y, or 
uh, 2y minus 2y, which is 0y, and x is equal to 12 minus 7, or 5. And that should be the solution for the x value. Now we need to plug in the x for one of the equations here. So let's use the top equation in this case. So we have 4 times 5 plus 2y equals 12. 20 plus 2y equals 12. You can subtract 20 from both sides to isolate the y. You'll get 2y equals 20 minus or 12 minus 20, which is negative 8. Once you divide both sides by 2, we're left with y equals negative 4. So the solution to the second system of equations should be 5, negative 4. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.